NVIDIA is sparking a revolution in AI. From the way we build computers to the software that powers them, everything is changing. This new era, led by NVIDIA's latest innovations, is all about making AI smarter and more accessible to everyone. It's a big shift, a paradigm change, that's set to make our tech experiences better and more exciting. So as you may know, NVIDIA's approach to business is pretty clever. They don't just sell hardware. They provide a full package of hardware, software, and services that work together to deliver great performance. This strategy helps them stand out in areas like gaming, data centers, and professional graphics. If you want to be a trillion dollar company, you can't do just one thing. It's kind of like opening a door. Um, and once they opened that door, people started to tinker. In the latest earnings release, Jensen Huang, the CEO and co-founder of NVIDIA, pointed out three significant changes or paradigm shifts that are really shaking things up in the software industry. Jensen Huang, he's the founder, president, and CEO of NVIDIA. I call him Da Vinci because he's a modern day renaissance man. The soul of NVIDIA, the intersection of computer graphics, physics, artificial intelligence. You're going to see uh, text with images, with sound, with video, all being trained at the same time. People with very high expectations have very low resilience. And unfortunately, resilience matters in success. Paradigm shift. One. Now. The GPUs are no longer just for processing graphics. A major shift is evident in GPUs as Jensen Huang talked about how GPUs have evolved beyond their original use. Originally designed to enhance 3D graphics in video games, GPUs are now crucial for powering AI supercomputers used by major companies like Google and Microsoft. They're part of the backbone in AI supercomputers, which require numerous GPUs working together to handle vast amounts of data quickly and efficiently. This setup is crucial because today's AI tasks are more demanding than ever, involving everything from natural language processing to advanced simulations. Moreover, NVIDIA's approach has broadened. Their GPUs, such as the NVIDIA Hopper, are not just powerful pieces of hardware, but are also part of an integrated software platform. This combination is key to their efficiency and effectiveness in AI tasks. The Hopper GPU, for instance, is a massive, intricate piece of technology, featuring tens of thousands of components and weighing around 70 pounds. It represents a mini supercomputer in itself, capable of handling diverse AI-driven tasks that are central to modern data centers. In addition to that, the cloud infrastructure that supports generative AI is also shifting towards inferencing tasks. This means that, instead of solely focusing on training AI models, there's a growing emphasis on using these models for real-time decision-making and analysis. As you can see from this graph, NVIDIA's revenue from computing has skyrocketed, largely due to the rise of inferencing tasks. The more generative AI integrates into anything, the more the hardware part becomes the critical moat. In the event, Jensen Huang highlighted, one, the amount of inference that we do is just off the charts now. Almost every single time you interact with ChatGPT, we're inferencing. Every time you use Midjourney, we're inferencing. Every time you see Amazing, these Sora videos that are being generated or Runway, the videos that they're editing, Firefly, NVIDIA is doing inferencing. He further said, the inference part of our business has grown tremendously. We estimate about 40%. The amount of training is continuing because these models are getting larger and larger and the amount of inference is increasing. Paradigm shift two, generative AI is the new way of doing things. Jensen Huang from NVIDIA has pointed out another big change happening right now. Generative AI is taking over. Generative AI? has triggered a sense of urgency in enterprises worldwide to develop AI strategy. Well, this is a fancy way of saying that software can now understand and create things like human language, biological structures, and even whole 3D environments. Imagine a computer program that can write stories, design proteins, or build virtual worlds all by itself. That's what we're talking about with generative AI. 
Huang highlighted the huge benefits that come with this shift. Thanks to what's called accelerated computing, we're seeing a massive jump in how efficiently computers can handle data. This means less energy used, way cheaper data processing, 20 times cheaper actually, and much faster operations. This kind of technology is changing the whole industry as more companies start to use generative AI. For everyday users like us, this shift is pretty obvious too. Services online are getting a lot smarter and more personal. For instance, ChatGPT and Sora videos are using generative AI to make interactions and content that feel custom-made for each user. It's like these services know exactly what you want, and they deliver it by generating new content on the fly. Looking ahead, every business in every industry is going to lean on generative AI to stay sharp and competitive. This tech is becoming a must-have, not just a nice-to-have. It's especially important for keeping up in the fast-paced digital world. Initially, big established companies might get the most out of generative AI because they can jump on the technology early and use it to strengthen their market position. But over time, we'll see new companies popping up that focus solely on generative AI, becoming major players in the market themselves. Paradigm Shift 3. From Hardware to Software a whole new industry emerges. Jensen Huang made a bold statement. He said, software is eating the world, but AI is going to eat software. This really captures the massive change happening right now in technology. We're moving from a focus on hardware to a world where software, especially AI, is taking the lead. Today, the development of AI, particularly large language models like GPT-4 or Gemini 1.5, doesn't need as much human input as before. These models learn by themselves from huge amounts of data that they break down into something called tokens. This process used to need a lot of human effort to organize and manage the data. But now, thanks to what's called accelerated computing, machines are doing this automatically and much faster in high-tech facilities. With the rising importance of AI, companies feel the pressure to create their own chips. This isn't just about staying ahead. It's becoming essential just to keep up. For example, it's known that Microsoft is working on making its own AI chips to be less dependent on outside suppliers like NVIDIA. This is a big deal because relying on outside suppliers can be expensive. In fact, to get ChatGPT going, OpenAI needed over 30,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs, which shows just how big the financial stakes are. Microsoft's project Athena is all about building these AI chips in-house, which could cut costs and boost the AI capabilities of their products. This trend isn't just with Microsoft. Other tech giants like Amazon, Google and Meta are also making their own AI chips, even though many still use NVIDIA chips for the heavy lifting with big AI models. This shift is monumental. It's reshaping industries into something smarter, more dynamic, and incredibly personalized. But it's not without its complications. As we move more towards software, and specifically AI, ruling over traditional computing, it brings a whole set of new challenges and complexities. The future of AI and technology is not just about making things better and faster. It's also about navigating these new waters that are constantly changing. Well, what do you guys think? Share your perspective in the comments below. Check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content. What other topics would you like us to explore? Let us know!